Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at the Demon Lord is New in Town. This corruption harem adventure is available for PC on Steam. Going into this review, I was really excited to play this game. The art looks great, and the chibi dungeon delving aspect really reminded me of Love Esquire, which I really enjoyed. However, once I actually got a chance to play, this is basically a mobile game with limited interactivity in the dungeon delving and an absolutely unnecessary amount of grinding in town. So this was originally a Japanese release on DL's site in 2019. The premise of the game is actually pretty interesting. You were the demon lord and you were defeated by the hero, but at the last moment you were able to take over the hero's body. Sort of. Now you have to regain your powers in your new body and somehow corrupting all of the beautiful women around you is part of that process. Kind of like an even more awesome version of The Devil is a Part-Timer. Sadly, this process is so repetitive and not engaging at all. The various romanceable female characters rarely interact with each other outside of the numerous scenes you unlock after you complete the game. You can't even lose the game, but bad decisions will make the grind take that much longer. Graphically, the game is really solid. The art is great and the dungeon delving is fun to watch even if it isn't very interactive. There is decent music, and the female characters are voiced in the sexual interactions, but they are not animated. Flavor-wise, this is a mostly heterosexual harem experience. There is also lesbian, group, impregnation, outfits, monster girls, BDSM, and power exchange. As I mentioned earlier, there is also a corruption mechanic that progresses with the game, but the end result is not really what most people in this community would probably consider very corrupt. I really wanted to like this title, and I was looking forward to beating a game that wasn't just another visual novel. Sadly, while the story starts strong and the art is great, I found my experience to be equal parts boring and tedious. Not really an experience that I would recommend. Well, unless boring and tedious are your preferred flavors, then by all means, have at it. Let me know what you think. Did you enjoy The Demon Lord is New in Town? Am I being too harsh? I do really like the story idea, so if you know any anime or light novels that are similar, please let me know. I mean, I'd love to know what happens after the epilogue of this game. That seems like the point when the story could have actually gotten really interesting. It's really too bad. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.